Madam Rajavi, distinguished guests, dear friends, let me first of all welcome very warmly the Italian parliamentary delegation who is with me tonight, who is coming here represented by very close friends to all of you, and welcome in particular a very distinguished personality from the Italian Parliament and the European Parliament, Honorable Marco Pannella, who is campaigning very strongly for a transition, for bringing a transition towards the rule of law in countries which are, like Iran, suffering because of despotic and extremist regimes. The message that this extraordinary gathering should be sending tonight must be one of the strongest support to Muslim organizations like the Iranian resistance, like your organization, which advocate a tolerant, anti-fundamentalist, democratic vision of Islam, perfectly reflected in the 10 points contained in the political program of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. And especially in the Middle East, peace and stability can succeed only if extremism and fundamentalism are defeated. The forces of moderation, freedom, and democracy should therefore be helped not only by Western governments, but also by all democratic nations throughout the world, and by the individuals who care for human values and freedoms. The majority of states belonging to the Arab League have been supporting over the last four years a democratic transition in Syria, a political settlement in Yemen, an inclusive system of government in Iraq. But all these efforts have failed be mainly because of the expansionary and sectarian strategies of the Iranian theocracy. The war against the Islamic State, against Daesh, should not deflect our attention from Iran objectives. Tehran's power grab in Iraq has assured the dominance of Shiite of Shiite militias. Tehran's meddling in the region aims at compensating shortcomings at home by exporting fundamentalism and terror under the banner of Islam. The mullahs want to preserve their power in Tehran. They want to overcome the regime weakness and inability to address domestic problems. Fundamentalism can only survive by being on the offensive. However, more of the population, more of our fr Iranian friends, in particular the youth, more of the population is becoming restive and demands change. The ambitions of the youth go in a different direction, not through making mischief or muscle flexing, but through higher education, ideas, hunger to be citizens of the world. This the line that the Iranian youth want to take. More and more Iranian women are a force of social change. They look at the example given by Madame Rajavi and their marvelous commitment to democracy and social justice. And under these circumstances, a firm policy of Western powers, and in particular the US and the European Union and the Arab countries is needed to put an end to Iranian meddling in Iraq, in Syria, and in Yemen. In order to succeed, such a policy needs to be linked with the Iranian people, with their desire for change, symbolized by the Iranian resistance and by the Mujahideen of Iran. Millions of Iranians inside the country and abroad praise the sacrifice of their heroes fallen in the quest for freedom. Those who have been killed and are still suffering in Camp Liberty should be remembered. And the situation in Camp Liberty must again be firmly denounced. We must be proud to stand with them. Thank you. Thank you.